Okay, guys, we're going to work uh, guard this week. Uh, excuse me, the passing top position. Uh, we're going to focus on this here. First, how are going to enter in his guard? Let's see if he has his back on the mat. I want to have this leg up front here pushing. My right leg is going to push right behind his, his uh, left knee. This year. It's not, you're not going to land like this. You, if you walk through his guard, you want to walk, forcing your shin right behind his knee. Like you, kind of the same setup, which is we're gonna get there too, the, the leg drag, kind of the same setup for leg drag. Cool? Okay, once I have this, uh, or he's gonna hold the, if he cannot, let's say if he, if he has a collar sleeve. If have call, a, a collar sleeve, once you have this here, it's really hard for him to keep the pressure. You, you start killing the pressure, because you get the collar sleeve, you get the sleeve, in the side here, collar this side. Yeah, it's, see, I'm a good stand to, to break that grip. If I'm like this, if he comes, I give him more, more space for him to start working the push and pull and break my posture. Don't stand, but if I step over, go ahead, yes. It's easy for me to find a posture to break his grip. Cool? We're gonna have this one here. I'm gonna control down here to the pants, and I'm gonna push his leg across this way here. Two places you want this leg, or if he hooks like this right behind, yep, uh, behind this side here, or, or this one. You don't want him have his foot in your hip, uh, hooking, you know, like this. You want to control the leg. Or he's going to sit on top of your thigh, or you're going to manage to put uh, between your leg and start working to control the bottom leg. Okay, that's, that's going to turn a hook. For this one here, uh, it's, it's not much you can use this leg here. We'll sit this one here. Don't stand. Let's say, the, if especially the way that you enter here, if you try to uh, use the De La Riva, well, it's, it's not too hard to break the De La Riva. If I need to use my hand, I can use to push the knee and clear the De La Riva. But if it's not, I want to point just my toes outside this one here and look for the collar grip. Once I get the collar grip here, I, I change my stance. I want to make sure that I stay a little lower. You're going to have a couple options over here. Okay, why now it's not related which one you're going to choose. If you do this, you're going to do that. You know I mean, like, is that going to be pick and choose the way that they're going to start off the technique? You understand? Okay, the first one, I'm going to get this call over here. I'm pushing this leg. You again, you don't want this leg go down here right now for what you plan to do it. Both this, and you don't want him get the kind of knee shield, uh, scissor. In front of it. this is gonna force you, you're gonna lose your balance. You know what I'm and I cannot drop stance if you, if you start doing like this. It's easy for him to elevate me. If you get the legs sit over here and push, you, ha you can have a better balance. You understand? Know if you start getting like this one here, that's when you fuse off balance. And holding that call is gonna help a lot to regain your, your balance. But yes, you, you don't want this leg like this here. You push all the way. Cross here in your thigh, well, this. Got it? Now, once I have this, I'm open my, my knee this way. I'm gonna, I'm gonna force like you do the penetrate steps. I'm gonna force this leg to touch my kneecap on the mat. It's gonna be hard for you to get this closer to him. That's why I'm going outside. I'm gonna get the call. Once I get this here, I'm gonna drive my knee, hold the call, land over here, I'm gonna grab the head. Right away. Look that I still hold this leg here. Now I'm gonna drop my butt on the ground. I'm still have the leg, both legs control, one with my hook here, and one with my grip. What's that? Sir. This hand goes deeper over here. Well, you can control the collar, but the collar sometimes you, you're gonna leave a gap. It's better go deep so you can't with your arm around his back and drop your shoulder in his, uh, in his jaw. Now I'm gonna push the leg and pass. Has a good chance that I uh, control <coughs> Find a which more tank control of the ankle on this one. Sometimes if you, if I push, you drive the knee, uh, the knee, uh, the knee uh, touching the mat this direction over here, it's gonna, it's gonna kill his hand. You know, in terms of, uh, you're gonna kill his grip. It's gonna let it go the, uh, the ankle. But it, even if it doesn't, I'm gonna still do in the same position. Cool. Well, at this, drive, change levels. This knee goes over this side. This here, hold the ankle. Over. Yeah. Once I get this one, this, this way here, I can push, use this foot to push, to help to cut the grip. And drive back, boom. You're right behind. 
more time. I'll put the light here. Okay. Drive. I said, don't parallel your leg. This is going to force him to get a hold of the ass. Maintain this leg right back here. Boom. And push it. Sit on top of the thigh. Get the collar. I'm going to drop here. Pull. And pass. It's hard to group my yeah, grip. Huh? Yeah. If you drive any cap on a mat, no torso to, to his tight, more directly to the knee here, it's going to be tough to maintain the grip. That's the reason that I'm pushing my knee more out away from him instead near to him. Sure. Any questions? Let's go, guys. Go. A mistake that we keep saying this, the mistake that we do on some passable guard, it's allowed him to do whatever he wants. And okay, let me try escape. Look, it feels like the train started just after you wrap you. No, that, that, that's bad. Uh, it should not be easy for him to wrap me, and it should not it, it should not let not let me go past like this that will control me. You know, you need to find an answer. If, if he has his back on a mat, or because he pull guard, or because he got swept, or because he took him down, he need to find an answer right away. If he cannot scramble to his feet, if he doesn't like to guard, you know, it's, it, that's a good starter. If someone try try get up, look quick, try sit, well, put him over his back right away. If you know that guy doesn't want to be. On, on his back, that's a good starter. Just drive your leg up front and keep the pressure on. Do you understand? Yes, but uh, I'm trying to picture, visualize a lot of different guards that he can apply. You know, that's how we're gonna work our techniques. Uh, the stance is gonna be the same, the grip's gonna be the same. It's not right and wrong with the grips. So I see guys going, going for, for this here, boom, to this here, boom, that doesn't matter. To this here, you know, two against one, Collar, just get the collar close distance. Everything is uh, you need to find the you need to find the 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 grips that are gonna make you have a strong base. If you stand, you have to uh, have your strong base. He cannot every time touch my ankle, push me, and feel I feel off, off balance. Yeah, that's why leg up front. You're never gonna be like this here. If I'm not leg dragging him all the way, if I'm not to a pass, I'm not gonna parallel my legs. Do you stand? Yes, sir. I start off this and this here I'm avoid him of, of course a few things that I can avoid uh, he can do it in terms of guard but right now what I have in mind is avoid the De La Riva yeah oh well, like this yes yeah, and grip look how, how off balance I'm stay with if he goes for the deep deep half uh, deep De La Riva the ones <coughs> who sit on top of this time and avoid him to peel this leg out and goes for a single axe, which is going to turn to a, a, a footlock, axe guard, all this type of stuff you can do with my leg there. I'm going to avoid that too. Uh, avoid him to sit up, like I just said. And if you try sit in a single leg sit like this, no sit up, yeah, boom, start work like this. If I push this leg here, it's way harder for him to, to sit. Do you understand? And from there, I'm try work the direction I want to take. With the stance that I have, I can choose which side I can initiate to pass his guard. If you like to pass your right, there's nothing wrong to start knee cut pass over the side. If you like to play the left, you can lead with this leg here, like we kind of we're gonna do right now. This one thing that happened here: if I have this, if I sit this leg on top of here, if he cannot hook, he's gonna start pushing me to create space. If he, if he, yes, he's, if he's not driving, he's gonna try to create space to push him to re reset his guard. So stand. And what I do is I go this way here. Oh, I'm gonna push here. Get your arms in my chest now to push. Yes. And this here. Look what I'm doing. I don't want. Remember that set in the. Yeah. You don't want this. Take this leg out. Push. Drag the leg cross into your top. Have this one here. What are you doing? Hold my weight. Push. Yes. This. I'm gonna drive my knee like we did the first one. Pull this way here. Push the leg. I'm gonna switch. This grip here, I can maintain. That's okay to maintain too. But if you get someone taller, longer than you, which is my case with Jack, if he extend his body, this, this arm is going to be way back here. I can switch my grip. But if you tall the person, uh, it's a good idea. If the same height to, is, uh, you tall to him, you can maintain the grip here. Okay. But it feels like if I get this, oh, I'm going to switch this grip, going to come this way here. I'm going to hold the tight. It's not like this. I'm not pummeling because this can lead to this here. Got set? Is this here? 
go to this, get to the knee. See his knees trap here. Kind of similar idea of the leg drag, but instead of be crossed this way, and this leg sit on top of this leg. Right? That's important to keep this leg. If I drop this knee, boom, the leg gonna be crossed. Don't stand. You can maintain this, go this way here. Once I have this, I'm gonna knee cut now. For a split second, I'm gonna have both knees posted in the same, the same direction. Look, this to this here, and pass. The collar or the sleeve helps a lot to drive. But said that's important to have the grip. I don't mind much, remember that he's pushing, he's holding my weight. If you have just the arm, if I, it's gonna be easy for me to drive. But if you put the knee in front of me, it's gonna stop me. Don't stand. Again. Start from this, push, drive. This here, look, no grip. Again, if you, even if you wanna start off collar sleeve, uh, boom, get, get the ankle now, yes. Sit and start drive, yes, nice. This here, pushing. Get the leg cross. Oh. Boom, I need to touch on a mat switch here for the for the, the hip and the tie. Got it? Yeah. Any questions? Let's go guys.